smart automatic door lock system. It is designed to be used with most of the door locks available in the US. It has a servo here that actually automates the locking and unlocking of the door. That servo is connected into the Arduino Nano, which is inside this box. So that's the microcontroller that controls this whole system. Um, it has two buttons here, uh, one to unlock and the other one to program. You know, this is a toggle button actually, it locks and unlocks both. And then there is a battery pack that you can see. So it runs off of battery. The way I have designed it is that when there's nothing going on in the lock, the Arduino Nano goes into deep sleep to reduce the current to minimal possible so that it can run on batteries for quite a few days. This button here actually is a toggle button. So when I press this button, it's going to unlock the door. And if I press it again, it actually locks it. Locking and unlocking with this button is just one of the features. The main feature is outside. There's a knock sensor here, which is connected to the microcontroller Arduino Nano here. And anybody who wants to enter into the house will have to do a special secret knock. Of course, they can still use the key to enter into the house because the one of the criteria was that it should be able to use this lock the way I was able to use it before all this. Um, but the other thing that they can do is that they can knock on this knock sensor. Now, obviously, not everybody should be able to enter into the house by just knocking at it. There is a special sequence of knocks that you have to do, a secret knock that you have to do in order to be able to enter into the house. Now, before you start that knock sequence, what you need to do is to wake up Arduino Nano. As I said, it goes into deep sleep when there is nothing going on here, which right now there is nothing going on. So it's an idle deep sleep state to save power. So first thing what we have to do is to basically knock on it to wake it up. So the first knock actually is used to just wake it up. And after that, you have to do the secret knock. And you can see it unlocks the door. And after five seconds, it times out and locks the door back. So you don't have to worry about, um, you know, locking it yourself. So you enter into the house and just close the door. The other feature that this lock has is the programming mode. There is a button right here which can be used to program your new secret knock. So if your knock gets leaked out or if you want to just reset your knock, all you have to do is to keep this button pressed and do a new knock and it will reprogram the knock in its memory. So in order to do that, you have to press this button here and then you have to do the first knock to just wake it up and then you do the sequence of knock that you want to use as your new secret knock. And then you just let go the button and you hear this long beep which actually means that it has programmed it. So let's see if I can use this new knock to unlock it. Um, so the first knock to wake it up and then followed by the new secret knock. There it is. And I can open the door, get inside, and then just after five seconds, it will time out and then it will lock back again. So you have five seconds to enter after you have successfully entered your secret knock. And then you can simply close the door because you don't have to worry about locking it. So the new secret knock is uh, stored in double EEPROM. So it's a non-volatile memory. So it's persistent across power cycles. So if you remove the battery uh, to charge it, for example, and then you connect it back on, uh, it's going to remember your secret knock from before and you don't have to reprogram it. And this is how it looks like from inside. As you can see, there is an Arduino Nano over there and uh, there are a couple of switches and the buzzer and then there is a, a, an, a, a transistor based uh, switch that I have designed 
and that switch I'm using that switch to actually turn on and off this servo and the reason I'm doing it is I'm, I'm not connecting this uh, VCC to the to VCC of the circuit I have actually connected it to GPIO so that I can turn it off and on whenever I want so when it's not being used it just turn it off and the reason I need that one of course to save power and the other reason I ha I need it is that remember one of the criteria was that I should be able to manually turn this and unlock and lock whenever I want. So the thing about the servos is that you know if they are powered, they actually grab on to it, their position. So it would be impossible to turn it because all these gears will have you know a lot of resistance, uh, and you will break the servo if you could do that. So there you have it. This is my smart door lock system. Uh, let me know how you like it. Give a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to this channel. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Bye.